The continent of North America is composed by Mexico, the United States and Canada. It is the third largest continent by area and the fourth by population. Present day, cultural and ethnic patterns reflect different kinds of interactions between European colonists, being the strongest in the northern parts of the region, while indigenous and African influences are stronger in the south. The three main languages are English, Spanish and French. Economically, Canada and the United States are the wealthiest and most developed nations in the continent, followed by Mexico, a newly industrialized country. Mexico through the years has been living in a culture where violence resembles the daily reality of each person. Since 2006, Felipe Calderón started the war against the drug traffickers. Officially, 150 people died during this war. Teresa Margolis was born in Culiacán, Sinaloa in 1963. She studied art in the Focur and also science of communication in UNAM. She founded CEMEFO along with Carlos López Orozco and Arturo Angulo Gallardo. Teresa has received several awards, among them two scholarships from El Fondo Nacional de Cultura y las Artes para Jóvenes Creadores, a prize from Adquisición en la Septima Bienal de Cuenca en Ecuador, and an honorific mention from Bienal del Noroeste en Culiacán, Sinaloa. She uses photography, performance, sculpture, and videos to make people analyze death in an artistic, artistic point of view. She has done about of 35 different individual projects from 2001 to 2016. Through her art, we can explore violence, the social injustice, repressions, and drug dealing in our country. La Promesa, created in 2012 by the artist Teresa Margolles, is a sculpture made from remains when shredding the constructive elements of an uninhabited house. This house used to be on Puerto de Palo, Ciudad Juarez, where thousands of families abandoned their homes due to drug trafficking war. The issue that Teresa Margolles is trying to remark with her art is that the Mexican people are living in a very violent society and we are not giving it the importance we should be given. The only people who care about it are the ones who have already suffered from it, but the fact is that everyone should care. Teresa Margolles represents through her artwork the fatalism of Mexicans as a result of the fight against violence and insecurity. ¿Cómo empieza la idea de la promesa? La idea de la promesa empieza con la idea del abandono del hogar, ¿no? de la, del abandono de las casas. En Juárez hay más de 115 mil, 120 mil casas abandonadas. ¿Por qué abandona uno su casa? Esa fue mi pregunta. ¿Por qué dejas una casa vacía si lo que representa una casa es el patrimonio de la familia? ¿Y por qué se abandonan las casas? O sea, ¿por qué dejaron la gente de sus casas en Juárez? Esa era mi pregunta, ¿no? O sea, ¿cómo le vas a poder decir a una, a una familia, a unos niños, que crean un país y su casa la vas a dejar? Que crean en un futuro, en ser productivos, si estás dejando por terror tu casa. Estás dejando por terror al perro amarrado en el árbol y te vas. Esa, con esa idea fue la, la esencia de la, de la obra, ¿no? Una vez que está destruida, hecha polvo, la traemos en camiones al, al DF. Toneladas de, de, de restos vienen al DF. Aquí se hace una simbra y con agua se mezcla el material y se vuelve a construir una escultura minimalista. Esa escultura que, que se convierte ya en otra, casa, en otra cosa, la casa, la casa en sí deja de ser casa para convertirse en una memoria, una memoria de muchas memorias, los 60.000 asesinados que hubo en el país las promesas incumplidas, las promesas a la juventud de que estudia y serás algo. Se convierten en muchos fragmentos de promesas incumplidas, de promesas fallidas. Hundreds of Mexicans have lost everything, even their lives. Since 2006, not half in the same, Ciudad Juárez is one of the victims. In 2012, it was named the most violent city in the world. This is one of the reasons Teresa Margolles decided to open the eyes of the society by creating her art. And until now, she has not only changed the perspective of some Mexicans, also the perspective of the world against this violence.